Well, ladies and gentlemen, once again, I'm Nev from Nev's Tech Biz. Today, I want to talk about the crypto virus that hit the world hard just yesterday and is still making its rounds. So anyways, 90 countries got hit with this WannaCry virus or Crypto 2.0 virus. Now, this has gone on all over the place and it really hit Britain, Spain, and Russia hard. Britain particularly got hit in their uh, National Health Service, the NHS. Now, the reason why they were hit was because they didn't upgrade to Windows 7 and get the patch in time. So anyways, here I'm gonna give you the whole rundown, the history, the rise and the fall of uh, this crypto virus, WannaCry. So anyways, the NSA created a malware called uh, Eternal Blue or Double Pulsar. Anyways, this gives remote access to infected computers. They use this for their own NSA ways to remote into system. Microsoft figured out the Eternal Blue through a leak and they patched it. All Windows 7 got patched. Windows XP did not get patched. The Double Pulsar is a program that stays in the RAM. As soon as you reset, it's gone basically. These tools were given to contractors through the NSA or pseudo NSA. And it is believed that not the NSA, but NSA contractors had this stuff taken from them, had this stuff hacked, or geez, maybe even we, we even got a bad, a bad apple that just decided to give this stuff out themselves. The shadow brokers ended up getting a hold of this. Now, the shadow brokers are a, you know what, I'm not even sure if you could call them hackers uh, as much as brokers. U ultimately, one way or the other, these individuals came in to this toolbox used by NSA contractors. And with this toolbox, they put it online and they said to the highest bidder, we will give you these NSA tools. And nobody bit, nobody decided to put money down, nobody decided to buy it, at least that we know of. The Shadow Brokers get their name from a video game where within this video, I believe it's Mass Effect, and it was within this video game, there are people that work for giant corporations who trade information back and forth but they never trade any more information. Uh, they, they always try to keep a balanced trade going so that they can keep each other in check. But stuff that goes on behind the scenes within companies, basically, within the video game, within the video game, these guys kind of think of themselves as the same thing. So they give themselves that name and they try to sell this stuff. Nobody buys it, so they leak it. Or they just throw it out there. It's Vault 7, it's out there now, it's in the wild. Now that this information is out, Microsoft has the ability to patch it. They have to get on this stuff quick, but even if they do patch it, even if they put that patch out there, how quick is it going to take you to download that patch, to download that hotfix? There's computers all over the place that only have so much bandwidth that they can use, and maybe they don't even worry about updates. And again, XP is no longer being backed up or, or looked after by Microsoft anymore. So this stuff gets out there into the wild, and a hacker, I think I know his name, but I have to get a little more information before I release it. A hacker ends up making another crypto virus. Now what a crypto virus is, is usually actually a worm. It's something you open up in, in mail. I've seen so many companies open these things up, and all of a sudden it starts encrypting everything it sees. You just, the, someone gets an email sent to them, they double click on it and it's a maybe it's a script it's usually a worm and it starts encrypting everything on the computer not only everything on the computer but everything attached to it by network drives now what's really interesting with this one is it starts infecting other PCs within the local area network and the entire internet is basically a giant local area network so this is going from computer to computer to computer and it's bigger than most uh, crypto worms, crypto viruses, because it has this NSA leak backing it up, sending it everywhere. And that brings us to what we dealt with in the last few days, the National Health Service getting nailed. Now this really ticks me off, and you should start thinking about this stuff if you're thinking about becoming a black hat hacker, if you're gonna release ransomware like this. Do you want to have a mark on you saying that you are responsible for the death of somebody? 
I'm not talking murder. This is manslaughter. You know what? It is murder. If you infect a hospital, and if you hear it, there's no way you didn't hear that you infected these hospitals. If you infect hospitals and you don't automatically give over the key, then you, if you don't feel like a bad human being, if you, if that doesn't make me want to do something about it, if that doesn't want make you want to move to action, then uh, you're a terrible human being. You are a terrible human being, and I hope there is a hell for you to burn. All right, so I'm here at the battle station, and before we get any further, I just want to point out that I'm not just being dramatic here. This is an actual lo possible loss of life situation. On Reddit, I'm a doctor in one of these affected hospitals, major trauma center in London. Everything has gone down. No blood results, no radiology images. There's no group-specific blood available. They've declared an international major incident. The hospital is diverting major trauma and stroke patients. Okay, if, if, you, if you have major trauma and major stroke, if you don't get immediate attention, you could flat out die. All uh, elective surgery was canceled from about 1 p.m. Uh, there's no doing anything in theaters. That's not life-threatening. There will almost certainly be deaths as a result of this. Deaths. That's because you, you're putting ransomware out there. So let's take a look over at this person's wallet. Now there's multiple wallets. There's about, uh, there's eight different versions of the WannaCry virus. And these guys are making bank. People are actually giving money. Now the thing is, they give money, but you don't actually know if they're going to get the code in order to unlock all of this stuff. So these guys have made over 700000 almost 800000 with this one wallet alone. Okay, so let's take a look over here. Here we can see an interactive map that shows you exactly all the places that it's popped up, all the places that it's messed with. You can see the, the EU definitely has the worst of it, the Russia definitely has the worst of it. Uh, there, was, there was a map that showed you in real time every time a new one popped up. This is the first one that I viewed yesterday, I think around 6 o'clock, and new things were popping up all the time. But, this is one I opened up last night at about 11 o'clock. It has been stopped. And the reason it's been stopped is because someone took a look at the hard code within, within the inside of it and they realized that there was a kill switch. The kill switch said, if this website exists, then you stop functioning. This gentleman, this hero, uh, malware techs, uh, at malware tech blogs, <laughs> he created uh, this web page and just by creating it he stopped the flow of this virus so it it can still encrypt it just doesn't it, it's it's not as powerful as it was this guy almost single-handedly put an end to it. I will confess I was unaware regist uh, registering the domain would stop the malware until I registered it. So initially, it was accidental. Uh, apparently, there was a little bit of a scare when this guy released it. Someone thought that s since he made the domain, it activated the crypto virus. But it is not that case. This guy saved us from the crypto virus by activating it. And he's, he's a real hero. So once again, there was a hard-coded address in with this crypto virus that said, if this web page exists, then you stop. Then you don't go any further. And ultimately, that's how we stopped it. Alongside uh, Microsoft releasing the hotfixes, especially to the Windows systems. Now, you got to remember, if you want to avoid getting this, you have to make sure you have all of your updates. Update right now, and if you have a system that is infected, just disconnect it, turn it off, disconnect it, unplug it, make, get that thing out of the, the, the room entirely. Just disconnect it and get it away. We're going to figure out, I, will, I want to think we're going to figure out who did this and they're going to be brought to justice. But until then, we got to be patient. we got to keep our eyes and ears open. Anyways, that is basically the Wanna Cry virus. That's how it started, and that's how, hopefully, we've put an end to it. That's it for me from, Nev, from Nev's Tech Bits. Have a good one, folks.